Let's just drop it on top of the mountain here. Here we go. We're going to drop the nuke. Nuke has been deployed. We might want to get the heck out of here. Okay, where's the nuke at? Where is it at? I don't see it anymore. Uh, ooh! Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some awesome creations, and we're going to be checking out a couple mods. Now, one of the mods is actually a new one on the workshop. I'll uh, go over that one here in a bit, but you see this jet fighter here, and I know it looks really odd because somebody strapped a big laser to the back of it. But that's one thing. Now another thing is I strapped a couple of special bombs here on the bottom. Now those are uh, no normal bombs, those are actually nukes. And I have never tried out the nuke mod here in Simple Planes, so I'm hoping that it's going to be one of the most epic explosions that we've ever seen here. So yeah, like always, all the creations are linked down in the description if you want to check anything out that you see in this episode here. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. All right, we are clear for takeoff here. Now, this fighter has a kind of an odd name. I'll have it linked down in the description. Uh, but yes, uh, somebody strapped this huge laser on top of it. I don't really understand the point, but it looks awesome, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and take off. I really hope this hasn't shifted the load. Uh, these nukes that I strapped to the bottom are fairly... Oh, never mind. Yeah, the nukes are fairly heavy, but this thing is fast. Wow. That is really, really fast. All right, let's go ahead and put up our landing gear here. The you know, question is, how powerful is the laser? Like, is it like super rip-through things powerful, or does it just shoot down like a normal gun? All right, so this current aircraft is equipped with six Guardian missiles for air-to-air, -air, and it's uh, air-to-ground. It's six cleavers and two nukes. Uh, the nukes, should we try it out on... No, actually, you know, we should really try that out on the fleet back there. Uh, let's go ahead. Ooh, six cleavers is still pretty powerful. Now, how powerful is that laser beam? That looks so cool. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to circle around. We're going to light up the, uh, the destroyer and the carrier here. And uh, see exactly how quickly we can take this down. You know, we should probably be taking this to the ice base. I wonder if we can uh, either nuke the ice base or uh, or maybe we can destroy it with the uh, laser. All right, we're coming in for an attack run on the destroyers and the carrier. Let's go ahead and light up the laser. How powerful is that? Oh, okay, that's shearing. Oh, it's probably hard to see. Oh, that's... Wait, where'd my sound go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, 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 countermeasures, countermeasures, all right, there we go, that's off, did we take out the uh, carrier, oh, that did, that lit up the carrier, is it going down, I don't know if it is written, hold on, let's go straight vertical here, all right, let's go and release countermeasures, come on, come on, wait, why aren't the countermeasures working, there they go, oh, you can see the other missile, oh, we're upside down, aren't we? All right, waiting. We're going to make an abrupt turn. Here we go. Let's go in countermeasures, countermeasures, countermeasures. Oh, look at all the missiles. Oh, whoa, okay. All right, let's try to light up the destroyer here. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, that hit something very, oh, that hit something vital. What the <laughs> You know, that laser isn't quite as strong as I thought it was going to be. Huh, it lit up the, uh, it lit up the carrier pretty well. Yeah, the carrier's going down. But the destroyers, you have to hit them pretty quick there. Huh. You know, I'm pretty sure I could have taken care of this with a nuke. But I think we should go over to the ice base and test it out over there. All right, here we are aboard the cockpit. Now, there is the ice base in front of us. This thing is a pain. Like, if you get anywhere within the vicinity of it, it targets you like that. We're going to see if this laser can actually uh, pick it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, on countermeasures, countermeasures. Okay, avoid the missiles. Ooh, those went right below us here. Come on, laser. Come on, laser. Do some damage. Do some damage. Uh, okay, yeah, this laser's not doing much for me. Ooh. You know what? We have to move into the second phase of the attack. We're going to have to use the nukes. All right, let's keep avoiding here. Countermeasure, countermeasure, countermeasure. Come on. You know, I actually think this uh, plane turns quick enough to avoid all that. All right, so we're going to swap over to the nuke. So I've got two of them strapped on here, which I think is probably overkill, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Like, I don't know what kind of range I have to be 
uh, in order to hit something with this. So let's go ahead. I mean, it is a nuke. Well, let's get over here. Okay, there's the uh, there's the base. I wonder if I just dropped it now. Like, what would it do? Let's just drop it on top of the mountain here. Here we go. We're gonna drop the nuke. Nuke has been deployed. We might want to get the heck out of here. Okay, where's the nuke at? Where is it at? I don't see it anymore. Uh oh! Oh, what in? Uh oh! What in the heck just? Oh! Wait, the base is still up on. Uh, countermeasures, countermeasures. Okay, I cannot believe the base is still standing. We would have blown a hole straight through the side of the mountain there. Okay, we got to hit this thing again. Come on, let's uh, let's go ahead and go over this way. All right, missile base. It is time to go. Let's go ahead. That targeting is pretty close there. Okay, we dropped our other nuke. All right, let's hope that one actually. What? Did it already hit? On uh, uh, countermeasures. Uh oh. Uh oh. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. They're locked onto us. Oh, this is bad. Ooh. Did the other nuke already go off? That hardly seems effective, doesn't it? Come on, let's uh, let's get right in their face here. Oop. Come on, come on. Hit the oh, we hit the launcher. Okay, we hit the launcher. Yeah, that uh, ice base is really strong. We have to test that nuke against the fleet. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to cleavers here. We got to finish the job real quick uh, since we're already here. Ooh, come on, come on. We are danger close here when it comes to the... Oh, wait, that one's got a missile cam on it? Oh, we just blew it up. Yeah, we are a little close to be hitting the cleavers there. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we have one last target here for the nukes to figure out how effective they are. So there is the fleet. That's one of our favorite targets here. Let's go air to ground. Uh oh, no, 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 don't see that I'm targeting you yet. Yeah, I mean, really all the nukes been has been a big poof of uh, smoke. It looks very impressive, but I wanna see its range of damage. So I'm hoping that if we hit one of these, uh, maybe the carrier would probably be our easiest target. If we hit something down here, it should go off and take the rest of the fleet out. Why is the fleet glowing red? Is that the targeting? I think that's the targeting. All right, waiting, 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 waiting. Let's go ahead, deploy nuke. Actually, I just deployed both of them. Uh-oh, that might not be good. Oh, they fall kind of weird, they just tumble. All right, here we go. Come on, oh! Oh! Oh, that just looks, it looks so cool, but yeah, it is not effective at all. It only really, what, it hit three of them? It's not really more powerful. I think it's really just an effect mod. Like, it's not really more powerful than the actual, uh, the bombs themselves. I would argue that the cleavers might have a little bit bigger range. But, boy, does it look epic. I really like the way that looks. I wonder if there's any more, uh, like, nukes on the workshop or on the, uh, Simple Planes website that are a little more effective. Yeah, I was really hoping the nuke would actually, uh, explode and take everything out, but... It's just really, like I said, more of an effects mod, but a very cool mod nonetheless. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump on to our next creation. All right, so for our next creation, we're gonna continue with the nukes or the big ultra missiles. And we have the ICBM or the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile here. Now this is a very, very awesome looking creation. Comes with its own little landing pad, or I should say takeoff pad here. Uh, you've got the little system, it's actually gripping the missile right now. I guess it's got like a decoupler up here that releases it. And you can control this missile in the air and supposedly it has a nuclear payload on it. So, my first thought was maybe we should go hit the snowstone base with this, but then I realized they have a laser over there and they would shoot this thing out of the air really quick. So, either we can target the fleet, or realistically, we can just fly somewhere. Like, this is meant to be shot from island to island. Uh, question is, okay, we're at Wright Airport. Uh, where would the other island? Is that it way out there? I mean, in theory, we can make it out anywhere that we want to go with this. Uh, so, you know, if I actually knew which direction Snowstone was in, uh, maybe we could fly it over there. 
But anyways, it's a, a little tricky to control. You use the VTOL controls over here. Uh, you launch it with the one key. It does use normal thrust. You can see I, I have it activated now. And you can see the uh, the base of the, uh, the rocket, or at least the pad here, kind of tightens up. So let's go ahead and launch it here. There we go, group one. All right, so we're gonna let it climb in the air here just a bit. And then we're gonna use over here on the left side, we're gonna start to tilt the... <laughs> okay, I've never had to do that before. I did test this, whoa, what was that noise? Oh, it had a big boom after. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that again. I've never seen that happen before. All right, here we go once again. All right, let's start to tilt this thing, there we go. All right, so we're gonna let it climb here. Oh, this looks so menacing. Like, that is cool. All right, so we're climbing, climbing. We could hit the other airport over there. Oh, let's start to arch it a little more. I don't want to get it too high because I want to be able to see here because it starts to get foggy. There's the fleet way back there. Uh, we're going to be passing over the destroyer with the, or the two destroyers with the aircraft carrier. I don't know which islands are out this way. I, I know there's something out here. You know, we could try to nuke the Kraken. I used to be able to pinpoint exactly where it was. Bad thing is, you don't have any sense of direction here with the rocket because the uh, the instruments don't register the rocket. They register what's on the ground, which is a little awkward. All right, we've located the other island. All right, so we can start to turn a little bit. Okay, so there's where we were. I don't think there's any targets on this island, to be honest with you. I don't think AA spawns here naturally. I wonder if we could spawn something. Uh, we're gonna pass over it. It's gonna look epic. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get this thing going as fast as it can here. Actually, I think it's at top speed. Oh, that is awesome looking. All right, we're almost there. All right, I got a target, folks. We're gonna be aiming for the bridge. So, I don't know if we can hit this. Like, I'm really hoping we can. Should we climb again? Maybe we should climb a little bit here. And we'll try to dive down and hit the bridge. It's going to be a miracle if I hit this thing. But still, it's going to be awesome. So we'll see uh, what kind of nuclear power this thing has. All right, so we're arching up. I mean, we're looking like we're on target here. It's going to be the pointing down and actually hitting it. It's what's going to be the problem here. So let's go ahead and start to point down. Oh, boy, the impending doom. Let's point up a little bit. Uh, I wish I knew exactly. You know, I think that's got a camera maybe mounted to the front of it that we can use, but yeah, I still don't think, I mean, it, controlling the up and down with the V tool controls over here is going to be a little uh, awkward for me. All right, so we're coming in. Uh, we're going to do this, hopefully. Okay, we are looking like we're on target here, folks. This might actually work. Oh, let's climb up a little bit. Okay, climb down. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! That was a, wait, did it, that was a big expl, what is it doing? Huh? Okay, well maybe that's an indestructible bridge. It blew up, definitely, but it glitched. Like, I, I saw the rocket flicker a couple times and fly off. Well, we hit the bridge, you know, was there a detonate button on that? Let me double check the instructions. I thought that was supposed to go off at impact. Uh, give me one second here. All right, so that really should have went off on impact. Uh, that's uh, according to the instructions. We did everything right except for the whole fact that I didn't actually adjust the speed. There's uh, the right side here is actually the speed for the rocket. So let's go ahead and start to arch up here. Let's go ahead and you don't want to hit the speed too hard when you're uh, still moving like this. So we'll arch it, okay. So we need to turn it now. So let's turn it. I believe about right there should be correct uh, with the heading of the other island. Are we completely level? Uh, pretty close. Hold on, let's level off about right there. All right, we should be able to engage this over here. And let's speed this bad boy up. Oh, yes. Oh, that is cool. Uh-oh, this is fast. Oh, this is really fast. On that island. Oh, okay. There are limits to that rocket. We just blew it apart there. Oh, geez. Yeah, we were definitely booking that way, weren't we? <laughs> oh, I love creations like this. I really do. 
very, very awesome creation. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so we're gonna try to balance this episode out. We had an air creation, we had a missile, and we're gonna do a ground creation here. Now, this is similar to a creation we checked out during our Desert Warfare episode, which I did nothing but like tanks and APCs and stuff like this. Uh, what this is, it's called the Ace Cod, or it's just A-S-C-O-D, it might actually stand for something. And this one's a little bit different version than we checked out the other day. This one is equipped with more air-to-air -air capabilities, it looks like on the front here we do have countermeasures if you get targeted. Uh, it's got dual guns, which I'm not sure what caliber those are. Uh, let's go ahead. We need to start activating some things here. So we're going to hit one. That activates the motor so we can drive around. Now, the other one we checked out was more of a troop transport. I'm assuming those are doors or hatches for troops. I don't know how many you're fitting in this one, though. But the, the really cool things about this one, let's go ahead. Let's activate a couple of these. On that puts the antenna up, and the, I guess that's a little radar. So we've got that. If you hit three, that activates. Oh, that looks so cool, huh? Let's look at that again. That uh, opens up the little uh, casings for the missiles. Oh, let's get another view of that. So yeah, if you do that, you can see them opening up there. Now four, you've got two big missiles here. These are all air-to-air -air missiles, by the way. You got four guardians, and then the interceptors. When you hit four, those raise up and come out. Oh, that is cool looking. Alright, so you've got those. I'm assuming... Oh, there's the gun. Oh, those are like mini guns. What the heck? They don't look like mini guns, but they act like it. Hold on, let's go. Oh, buddy. Oh, does it have up and down controls? It's up and down range. Oh, no, it's not limited. It's just kind of inverted. So, okay, so you hit that. Okay, I got that. Ooh, that's a very, very powerful gun on this. Hold on, let's go to... Uh... What views do we have here? There's the inside. Do we have a targeting view? Oh, uh, it doesn't. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the targeting view. So, see that plane like way out there? Actually, can we hit that? Oh, we can. Hold on, it's uh. I want to be on the outside when this happens. Launch the interceptor. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, he's coming this way. All right, here we go. Oh, that looks so cool. Where'd it go? Oh, he's gonna track it down. Come on, come on. That is 5.5 miles out. I think it's heading this way. Waiting for the little message. Oh, it's got a ball. It's got a camera. Dude. Dude, that's the coolest thing ever. I screwed the camera up the last moment. Oh, let's find another target here. Uh, okay, we are still active. I did not know that that was going to actually camera into the plane. Like, normally we have to look at that from a distance and it's kind of disappointing. That was awesome. Okay, let's find another target here. Uh, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Alright. Oh, there's a target right there. Hold on. Let's turn around. Hello. What is this? Oh, it's the Komodo jet. Alright. Let's see if we can get within targeting range. Uh, okay. Gotta go up a little bit. Waiting. Come on. Come on. Give me a lock. Give me a lock. There we go. Alright. So, we're going to get to watch this unfold this time. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Oh, it's running. It's seven miles out. Uh-oh. What kind of range does my missile have? Eight miles. Oh, it caught it. Oh, that is so epic. Wow. That is cool. All right, so we can put those away. Those are uh, those are emptied out. You know, I really wish this actually had some air to ground. I would almost argue that we could target uh, the destroyers and the one carrier out there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's gas it up here and let's test out some of the off-road capabilities of this machine. You know, I also figured out, I think this thing does have those little stands or maybe you can call them outriggers uh, that drop down. And hold on, let's slow down. Uh-oh. Oh, we're getting a little bit of air. Hit the brakes. Is it five? Yeah, it's five. There you go. So you could stand this thing up. Now, this thing doesn't get a whole bunch of, uh, it doesn't get a whole bunch of recoil uh, whenever you launch those uh, missiles. So, I don't think you would always really need those, but still, pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and gas this up. We're going to go ahead and maybe do a little jump here. Let's switch to our Guardians just in case we find another target. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Uh-oh, we're a little sideways. Oh, we got this. Oh, this little thing is fast. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh. Whoops. My bad. That's still an awesome creation. <laughs> uh, things like to go boom in uh, Simple Plane sometimes. 
All right, so I've got one more thing to check out here. We've got a new mod, which I wanted to save it for the end of the video because once you activate it, it kind of covers up a big portion of the screen, but it is very awesome. So let's go check that out. All right, so we have a mod here. This just appeared on the Steam Workshop. I've seen some advanced cockpit mods, uh, but this is Advanced Cockpit Mark IV by Jester. And let's go ahead and enable that. Now what this does, this adds by by default on any plane, it's going to add like a new HUD on the bottom which looks like a cockpit. Uh, let's go pick out a fighter real quick and I'll kind of give you guys an example of what this looks like. Alright, so I have an aircraft here and really this is the ideal aircraft to use with this mod. Uh, so this mod's going to add a cockpit to any aircraft that doesn't already have one. So. For example, this one you can see it's the solid canopy here. So most likely it doesn't have an interior with gauges. So let me spawn the Spartan here. All right, so you see we are in the cockpit mode. And look, we've got a full-blown cockpit here. This is actually really awesome. Now it is awkward and the reason I spawned this last is because when I go into the third person, it's still there. So it's not ideal if you fly from like really far out. But if you're flying in the cockpit and say your uh, aircraft doesn't already have one of these, this is really awesome. Now check out the uh, the instruments here. Uh, you got your brakes on the right side, you got gears, it shows you your, uh, your weapons here. You've got all your dials up here. You've got down here on the bottom left, it's actually got a map, which that is really cool looking. So let's go ahead, let's get up in the air real quick and test this thing out. Oh uh, yeah. Alright, so you see the airspeed's going up. Might be a little hard to see. Oh, this is a loud craft. I forgot how loud this one was. Alright, so we're going up here. There we go. You can see our altitude's climbing. Let's go ahead and put the gears up. So that switched. I guess you would want to probably maybe turn the HUD off. Uh, speaking of, what kind of missiles does this thing have? And what does it look like when I turn these on? So, air to air. Does any of that pop up? Uh, you know, I'm not seeing the weapons. It's got like a little weapons thing down here, but it's not switching up here. Uh, where are we at? Ooh, that's a little awkward. So yeah, when you move the camera, even in the cockpit, it does move the whole thing forward. So I'm actually moving like forward right now, but I'm looking over to the right. But anyways, let's go ahead. If we're in the lock position, this is probably the way to do it. Let's go ahead and turn here and we're going to swing around and just target something from the inside. All right, we're hauling the mail here. You know, I just realized it actually shows you the time of day, too. That's one of the first times I've seen that. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's get within our little targeting bubble here. Okay. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There's a cleaver out. Okay. This uh, this jet drowns out the actual uh, the beeping. Yep. Oh, oh! What the? What just happened? Oh, we're going down! <laughs> I think we just got shot out of the air. And, oh, it even says game over in the bottom right. I'm not sure uh, normal cockpits would do that. Um, that would be a little weird. You know, one last thing I want to try. I'm curious about this mini map. There is a mini map on here. Would the mini map actually pick up the Kraken? Is that a thing? And can we nuke the Kraken? Let me equip a nuke to this thing. All right, so now we have two nukes setting at the bottom of this aircraft. We're going to head out to the Kraken, see if the radar picks it up, and then we're going to drop a couple friendly nukes on it and see what happens. I'm still curious. Like, it would be awesome if there was a way to defeat the Kraken. All right, folks, we have been assigned a special mission. We are here to nuke the Kraken. You can see it in the distance. It's starting to... Actually, you probably can't see it. My little mouse pointer's on it right there. But yeah, it's right in front of us here. So let's go ahead and dip down a little bit in airspeed. So let's go ahead and get our targetings online. We need our uh, air to ground. Let's go ahead and select nukes, which are good to go. Oh, buddy. All right, so we need to adjust our heading a little bit. Waiting for it to activate, and we are going to nuke the Kraken. I don't know, maybe this will have some sort of odd effect and something awesome happens. Uh, a little bit more to the right here. There we go. That's looking about on target. Now I'm gonna have to switch to the third person here, even though the cockpit's still up, because I want to actually see this happen. And we're just waiting on him. Come on, buddy. Do your thing. Do your thing. It's not faded yet. Is the Kraken asleep? Wake up, Mr. Kraken. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Come on, buddy. Uh, oh, here we go. 
Here we go. It's about to get intense. It's about to get intense. Come on. Waiting. I've got two nukes to drop here. Let's go nuke one and nuke two. Both nukes are released on the Kraken. Here we go. What is going to happen here, folks? What is going to happen? Wait, what? Why haven't they gone off yet? What? Oh! Oh, we did it! <laughs> we nuked the... Wait, what's it? Wait. Did it... He went under. He actually disappeared. What? Did we... Uh, hold on. Let's uh, circle back around. Let's see if he comes back out. Does that count as defeating the Kraken? I don't know if it does or doesn't, huh? And let's, uh, let's adjust this real quick. You know, I don't wonder if you bomb him so much, you make him go back. Uh, let's, uh, we're coming back down to him here. And I'm just curious, is he gonna pop back out or is he done for? Uh, let's poke him a little bit with the guns here. On. Wait, what? Okay, he should be changing over here any moment. Okay, there goes the skies. Have we defeated the Kraken? Does he pop back up? Uh, wait for him. No, he pops back up. Okay, so we made him disappear with the nuke, but he is officially not defeated. I don't think you can defeat the Kraken. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, we're gonna fly inside of him. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> and there we go. Oh, he's whispering to us, and he disappeared because we poked him. Oh, he's coming back. Well, it was uh, worth a try. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode here today. Like I said, everything's linked down in the description if you want to download any of the things that you saw in today's episode. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time.